it's almost Black Friday and Isotope just released an update to their very famous Lo-Fi plugin. This plugin is a beast, it's absolutely free and today we are going to take a look at what is new and what it can do. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. This is what Isotope Final looks like when you first open it up. I think the old UI definitely looked a lot more lo-fi-ish, but this one looks a lot better to me. So on the left we have the spinning vinyl, which is a really cool effect. And above that we can select the decade of the record player that Isotope Final will emulate. Obviously, the more you go back in time, the worse the quality gets, but if you are looking for some lo-fi sounds, that is definitely the way to go. There also is a dedicated lo-fi button, which enables or disables the vintage sampler artifacts. So let's take a listen. Next up, we can also change the RPM of the vinyl player. We can go all the way from 33 RPM to 45 and 78 revolutions per minute. And a nice little touch is that the vinyl player animation also speeds up or slows down, which is really nice. Next up is the spin down knob, which is probably one of my favorite features of this plugin. Let's take a listen. Not a lot of plugins offer this feature, but I think it's really nice and especially for free, you cannot complain. Next up, we have a knob that changes the wear and this controls the amount of high frequency roll off and distortion that is introduced by flattening the grooves of the record curves. Obviously, when you play a real vinyl, the record curves will wear over time and we can emulate that by adjusting this knob. Let's turn it all the way down and take a listen. I like it right around here. Let's set it back to 10% like it's by default. And we are going to take a look at the second panel of this plugin, which allows you to add more artifacts and emulations. So first off, we can turn up the gain of the mechanical noise. And this is mechanical noise that a turntable makes by turning. This is a constant noise, but it can be a really nice touch to add to your sound. Then we can also turn up the gain of the electrical noise that preamps and circuitry inside a turntable make. Then we can add dust to the plugin. By default, there's already 80% of dust on this record, and these are the little scratches that you can hear right now in the background. Well, let's turn the dust off and let's take a listen at the scratches. Scratches emulates the amount of scratches that are present on the record. Let's turn it up and you can also see on the animation that there are scratches uh, being drawn. And again you can change the gain of these scratches. So let's turn it back off. And then we can take a look at the last slider of this panel which is the warp. And what this does, it controls the amount of pitch variation that is introduced by a selected warp model. And we can select the warp model right below the slider by changing this knob. We can choose between sine wave, inverted sine, peak and inverted peak. Let's take a listen. Mm -hmm. 
And then lastly, at the top of the plugin, we can change whether this gain knob adjusts the input or output gain. Just like this. Then we can make the output of the plugin mono. And we can obviously bypass the plugin. Who is this plugin for? I think this is basically for everyone that is making music. It's free, so there is no reason not to download it. And if you happen to look for a lo-fi sound, this is probably the best you can get, especially for its price. This video is not sponsored, but I just really like this plugin. I also love how in the new UI there is actually an animation of a vinyl turning. And if you change settings on this plugin, you can also see it appear on the vinyl. That's it for today. If you want to see more videos about free or cheap plugins, or if you want to see me making music, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, leave a like. Download link of this plugin is in the description. My name is Matt Flank. Thanks for watching. Peace out.